Hey everyone, welcome to Nerds Talk. I'm Mike. And I'm Chris. And today we're going to be talking about a bunch of movie news, which has been a while. We're going to jump into the new Mandalorian trailer, the WandaVision trailer, a bunch of the crazy uh, delays uh, surrounding the movies and TV shows. But before we jump into all that, some quick housekeeping for you. Uh, here at Nerds Talk, we like to create a community that is for all people, and we'd like to make it a safe community for you to enjoy. If you enjoy our content, uh, and you'd like to, for us to create more and more varied stuff like that, we definitely appreciate your support. All we ask is that you click that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything. Like the video and of course, drop a comment below so we can stay in touch. Um, but with that, we'll jump ahead. So Chris, it's been a while since we jumped into the movie side of things, but I thought we kind of just let fans get caught up on what we've been up to. So what's been kind of going on in the life of Chris? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've been really busy with all the video news, the drops, all that stuff. So the video gaming stuff. So uh, very exciting. Uh, I have to thank you for helping gave me the PS5 pre-order. So really appreciate that. I'm looking forward to November for sure. Just counting down those days. Um, other than that, I, I started playing Gears of War 1 again on the Xbox 360. So uh, with all the Xbox news and the talk and everything like that, Game Pass, I uh, got that itch to play that again. So it's a little bit different than what I remember, but I'm getting back into it, so I'm enjoying that. Uh, how about yourself? What are you into? Right now? So I've been playing a bunch of random stuff. Um, so most recently, the Mario 3D All-Star Collection. I've been playing Mario 64, kind of slowly getting my way through that, and then I'm going to jump into the other two shortly after. Uh, in between bouts of Mario, I've been playing uh, Marvel Avengers quite frequently. Um, got my cap almost completely maxed out, working on some other characters. Really, really looking forward to some new content from that. Um, nice. really fun and then on the flip side I decided to, to dive into Game Pass uh, to try something that was a little bit more relaxing and found that Spirit Fair has been added to the Game Pass collection so I jumped into that um, really 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 love that game can't stress that enough uh, it's a very relaxing experience uh, lots to do lots of content in there and it's like a, a nice interesting story I guess that you can kind of take part of and kind of draw a, a connection to the characters in the game Really well done. Lots of stuff to do. Like I said, lots of stuff to collect. Uh, not very difficult. Uh, you can't really die in it as far as I've you know, come, come to realize so far into the game. Um, but if you want a relaxing, uh, enjoyable experience, it's something I recommend. Definitely, definitely is a perfect Switch game. Hoping that it comes there. Not sure if I'm going to finish it on Xbox or wait till I get it for Switch. But yeah, that's that's kind of the three main games that have been taking up a lot of my time. Nice. Yeah, that one really caught our eyes every time we saw it. Uh, we're like, oh, we got to try that out. So it's good that you're, you're getting your hands on it and, and enjoying it as well. So that's yeah. awesome. Absolutely. So let's dive right into the news here. So uh, let's jump for the first piece of information being the Mandalorian trailer that came out. And yes. what a doozy. What a great trailer that was. Uh, what did you think? Yeah. Oh, I, I so I uh, was really uh, looking forward to it. As soon as it dropped, you know, I went on right away to check it out. Um, wasn't disappointed. Uh, it was very short clips, you know, little bits, you know, some background uh, conversations from season one about the, the unknown species being the child and having to, you know, connect them back with you know, evil sorcerers that uh, they call them, which are the Jedi. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was really great to see, you know, different clips, some X-Wings, the, the razor claw flying around, door flap open in the back and everything like that. So, uh, the little, razor crest, the razor crest. What did I say? The razor, razor claw. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, you see, you know, bits of little planets and some creatures and stuff like that. So very excited. I thought it was very well done. Um, so looking forward to it. Although I, I was kind of surprised that they didn't, you know, show any clips of people that were rumored to be in it. Characters, you know, Boba Fett, Ahsoka, uh, even Rex has been kind of rumored into being. Um, you know, maybe making an appearance. Um, so yeah, they didn't really show any of that, which is interesting, but I'm okay with that as well, because, you know, a lot of the Mandalorian first season was a surprise. No one knew about the child or, you know, different characters and so on. So uh, I am looking forward to that. I think in this case, less is more. Absolutely. So I completely agree. I thought the trailer was outstanding. I really enjoyed it. Um, again, uh, agreeing with your sentiment about, you know, not showing too much. I thought we'd see like a glimpse of a lightsaber or the back of someone didn't see that, which is okay. Um, part of me wonders if, um, if you know, they are they still on track to do what they initially planned to do for season two or do do the pandemic? Did they have to cut some things that probably wasn't finished and didn't feel like they could get it done in the while working remotely? Uh, for the for the kind of polish that they wanted, so maybe they had plans for, like you said, Ahsoka to show up and maybe 
she won't or maybe she'll only show up at the end of a an episode as opposed to being in a full episode or two so i'm kind of curious to know if that is the case or not um in addition we did see like older grief cargo we saw you know cara dune and, you know the regulars are back which is great yeah yeah. Um, I'm really, really hoping that uh, whatever they do, uh, it's going to be, it's going to feel complete. Um, and uh, I mean, we didn't really see anything else new other than, I guess, what that Twitter post showed with the Gamorrean guards, right? Yes. Yes. Actually, yeah. So there were two of them battling in like a wrestling ring, but I, I really like that because, you know, the uh, whistling birds came out from the Mandalorian and then you see the child kind of recognize what that is close his uh contraption lid and, and then they all you know go around and get the the guys that were surrounding him yeah. so i thought that was pretty funny and a little bit uh you know comedy in there thrown in with the action which is always uh great for a tv show i think absolutely and star wars is always about you know having fun and having the comedy and having you know they have some dramatic moments but it's always uh you know a comedy uh, f fun and, and young at heart i guess you could say right so yeah. Great, great experience there. But ultimately, yeah, I mean, we're, we're both excited. We're huge Mandalorian fans, obviously. We got the got the child in the <laughs> shirt, got the Mudhorn. Got my Mandalorian shirt on. There you the, go. The, so, any, uh, do you have any projections on what you think? Like if, you know, any character or whatever, uh, you know, maybe rumored or not rumored, any predictions on what you think this season might be about? Or, or I mean, I guess he's looking for this the original species of the child to connect yes. back with. But, you know, some side stories or some extra things. Do you have any thoughts on, on what might happen or what you think might like, so hoping for? My expectation was that we would see, you know, he'd obviously find some sort of Jedi uh, in order to figure out the Force and, like, what we're going to do with a child and that sort of thing. My hope was that he would stumble on maybe the planet where they were from but can't find a way to get to it. So we'd have an idea of the planet or the, the species something to kind of give us a little bit more commonality with you know this mysterious being of yoda and the child and, and yaddle for, for, for that's the only ones that we're aware of at this point so i think it'd yeah. be great if they had um a prediction would be that they either uh find the planet but can't get to it yet or find like uh some old archaic knowledge of the species or something like that that helps them stumble onto you know where they might find the presence of a jedi or something like that uh, whether that's going to be a soaker or not, I don't know. Um, but I do, I do. Wouldn't be, I wouldn't uh, be surprised to to find some sort of like unnamed Jedi in hiding something because we know that they're out there. Um, yeah. And if if uh, you know, um, um, the Fallen Order is canon, we know that there are other people that are hiding out there. That's the most I'm going to say that I'm not going to spoil that here on this this show. But uh, yeah, I mean that's that's pretty much it, and perhaps a glimpse of Boba Fett, maybe getting out of the pit or something like that. But how about you? What, what do you think is going so on? So I have a couple, you know, thoughts or ideas that I think might happen. So the first one is regarding Boba Fett, uh, showing how maybe he gets out of the pit and then going back. Because I think it's five years after Return of the Jedi. Is that what it is? Yes. And then like 20 years before or 25 years before um, Ray comes into to, to everything. Yeah. So... My thought is him coming out, going back to ja Jabba the Hutt's area, Protecting. realizing that he's, yeah, so he's dead uh, and that, you know, no one's really in control of the mobs or anything like that. So maybe he tries to take over the lead and, and you know, he's kind of leading that, that, taking over Jabba's spot. Hmm. So I thought maybe that might happen. Um, so that's one thought that I have. The other one is uh, the Mandalorian meeting up with Ahsoka, and because Ahsoka in the Clone Wars saw Yoda and kind of knows about that species, might be able to point him in the right direction of, you know, maybe some answers. She wouldn't know where his planet was from or anything like that, or the the species itself, but maybe answering some, you know, guiding him on where to find some answers, maybe a Jedi Temple or whatever it may be, or some, you know, books back then. So similar to what you were thinking. Mm -hmm. So it'll be interesting to see if that happens, we see in the spoiler that, you know, they do go back to Tatooine, Tatooine yeah. um, and things like that. So it'll be interesting to see, but uh, I'm just really excited to, to get it going. I think it's October 30th is the, the first uh, episode yeah. for season two. Yeah, so yeah. can't wait. October and November is going to be really exciting. And it's going to become a Monday show now, no longer a Friday show. Yes. Right? Yes. Monday. I think mid season they they changed it to Monday, did they not? Because of the holiday, they kind did. of got pushed like to a last Monday. Two or three episodes, but yeah, yeah, they, they did like make that. the switch. I just wasn't sure if that was going to continue, and they're going to continue, continue yeah. Friday. But yeah, it looks like they're going to stick to that Monday spot for that, and then uh, 
we'll see kind of for other content. Is it going to be the same? Is it going to be uh, the other the other Star Wars shows going to be also on Mondays? Are there going to be different days for different shows? It'll be interesting to see kind of how that pans yeah, out. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but I mean, exciting. We're excited for it. It's oh, going to be very God. close. We are definitely going to be doing episode by episode reviews. So we'll have that content back on the site, which would be great. Um, but yeah, I mean, anything else to say for the Mandalorian at this point? No, that's it for now, but uh, I'm sure that maybe they'll throw in another trailer, but if not, it's coming around the corner. So it's uh, it's coming very quickly. So yes. Looking forward to it. All right. Um, hmm. The next news was in the WandaVision trailer that came out. We got to see yes. the actual full trailer, which showed footage. Um, they, they When they first talked about this um, last year when they were kind of revealing the Phase 4 and that kind of thing, they showcased it as a black and white, you know, uh, old school com comedy, very, you know, Dick Van Dyke. I love Lucy. Yeah, yeah, Dick Van Dyke. Yeah. And, and so, you know, and you saw the, the the poster of it being black and white and, you know, having a little bit of color. A little bit of color, yeah. But being black and white and, and, you know, that that type of show. But then when you watch the trailer, it progresses through time where you start off black and white, then you get a little bit of technicolor in there and, and you know, also seems to like move through the time as well, like the different eras from like the, the 20s and 30s and 40s all the way up to like what seems to be like 60s and 70s almost, you know? So I'm kind of yeah. curious to know like, will this show stick to that or is it just to start in a black and white and then season two, three, four, we're in modern time and it's no longer part of that whole shtick? I don't know. It's interesting. I'm, I'm very curious to know how they're going to pull it off or are they going to keep going back and forth between the black and white and the 70s ish era when they're in the Halloween costumes, right? And they had the colors yeah. there, and it was like, oh, this is this feels like very 70s, 80s. Which is funny because it's like the old school, like comic the classic, vision classic and the uh, Scarlet Witch costumes, which I thought was pretty, pretty funny and a nod to their, you know, nostalgia and, and classic uniforms. Yep. And, and then there is a mystery, right? Surrounding yeah. the whole thing. They talked about, um, you know, the fact that he's dead. And, you know, him coming to reality with that and kind of like what's going on kind of thing. So it's interesting to to see, like, is he trapped in somewhere? Is Scarlet Witch there? Is he make, is this all being made up in his head and Scarlet Witch really isn't there? Or is she somehow there and somehow trying to keep his mind at bay by creating a reality? It'll be very interesting to see how this works out and kind of where we progress from here and how they get him out. Because, you know, we know that in comics that Vision himself isn't dead. So it'll be interesting to see what they do, how they bring them back. If they decide to do that for future yeah. team up movie, we'll have to wait and see. But um, yeah, I, I was, I was stoked. I was excited. It is very different from anything that I'm aware of that I've seen. So I'm intrigued to see, let's watch this because one, it's a Marvel property, but two, how are they going to connect this to the movies? Cause we know there's a, a connection to Dr. Strange, I believe. His yes. Movie? I, I believe they said that uh, this TV show kind of at the end of it, will will kind of lead into Dr. Strange, I believe they said, which kind of goes with the multiverse, right? Like his Dr. Strange, I think the, the multiverse of madness. So, yes, yeah. um, I mean, it could be all those timelines could be part of the multiverses that they are maybe manipulating or going into or being a part of or being sucked into somehow. Uh, and then Dr. Strange maybe has to come and fix it or, or maybe he's drawing them in or whatever, maybe, but I, they've, said that it's rumored that they kind of combine into one another at one point. So it'd be very interesting to see. Absolutely. And then with the first show coming out this soon, and then obviously Dr. Strange not coming in end of next year, yeah. which was initially yeah. planned, that's going to be pushed up to 2022. That's a far like distance between this show season one and the movie. And then are they, does that mean they're not going to get season two next year then because they have to wait for the movie to come out. It'll be interesting to see how the cards kind of fall into place. But uh, I'm excited either way. Uh, but I mean, you, you saw the trailer. What did you think? Yeah, so the trailer was interesting. Um, to be completely honest, I still don't know what the, the show is about at all. I, I, I came out of that. I watched it twice because I'm like, am I missing something? But there's so many flashes and going back in, in different times or, or forward in times and color and, and black and white. And then they have kids at one point, yes. like twins it looks like. Yeah. Um, that was just a quick flash. And will that be later on in phase five? Will those you know kids be a part of it or something? Um, so after watching it twice, I, I looked at my wife and I said, I still have no idea what this show is all about, but it looks really interesting. So I'm on board to, to check it out. It's something different, which is nice as well. It's not the cookie cutter, you know, they fight bad guys and whatever it may be. Uh, it seems to be more, 
I don't know if it's like a family love story, but it's a little bit of everything like those classic 70 type shows. So uh, very intrigued to see how this happens and, and happy that it's something different. So, you know, similar to what if um, that TV show that they're coming out with later on the uh, yes. 2021, um, which will kind of be something else. I'm looking forward to because it's different and it has all those crazy, you know, spinoffs that what if, you know, Wolverine didn't become weapon X and stuff like that. So really looking forward to these two, two different type of shows to, to, to change it up a bit. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's an interesting segue here. So let's jump into the, the delays because we know there's quite a bit of them. So why don't you go through your list and let everyone know yeah. what's been pushed around and kind of where we're sitting at right now. Yeah, so obviously we'll start off with Wanda Vision. Um, it's to be uh, announced the official date that is starting, but it's supposed to be twenty twenty still. Um, and then uh, you know these are all rough, but according to what we know so far, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier is to be confirmed for twenty twenty one. They haven't really announced the date yet, but they said it should be twenty twenty one. The Black Widow has been moved to May seventh, twenty twenty one. I believe the original date was in May twenty twenty. Then they push it to November and then maybe December they were talking about. And that was all the way to May. So it didn't even take that February spot, unfortunately, yeah. which makes me think um, that they're predicting the pandemic's going to close things again and push things back. So they're playing it safe and give themselves that extra time to you know, hold on to that movie and have it ready and allow other films to you know, start production or continue production if uh, they're allowed or if they're stopped or whatever. You can, they can kind of play with the, that again. The next movie on the docket is Shang-Chi, The Legend of the Ten Rings. That is July 11th, I believe it is now, mm -hmm. um, in 2021. Uh, the Loki TV show is uh, set for spring 2021 so oh, far. Okay. Uh, that What If is summer 2021, um, which will be interesting. A lot of TV shows were kind of filling the gaps because I guess it's a little bit maybe quicker and they can produce it. The Hawkeye series is supposed to be fall 2021. Now, some of these so, are supposed to be out this year, right? Yeah, so a lot yeah. of them got pushed back uh, to at least 2021. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight are now scheduled for 2021. So wow. it wasn't that many before, but uh, you know things have been pushed back. So the Hawkeye series, like I said, was fall 2021. Eternals, which has changed its name from the Eternals to just Eternals, mm -hmm. funny enough. Uh, is November 5th, 2021. Okay. Uh, and then we get the Spider-Man, uh, the third movie, the three cool, uh, December 17th, 2021, which I'm really excited for. It's going to be a, a great, great movie, I that's think. That's a lot of movies. If, if the theaters are open, come, you know, May time. Um, that's, yeah, that's, that's three three movies in 2021. Well, plus Spider-Man. We got, uh, so we got, oh yeah, four. So Black Widow, Shang-Chi, uh eternals and spider-man so four in 2021 yeah. and then one two three four shows as well so yeah, that's uh, very exciting i'm yeah. i'm all i'm i'm all up for a marvel year um yeah with some star yeah. wars to kind of tide us over until next year and then hopefully some more star wars at the tail end but yeah i'm i'm, I'm ready for it let's let's go with that yeah and supposedly avatar is completely filmed so that's the rumor from everyone there so that was so. supposed to come out in 2021 of december of next year and then it was supposed to be star wars avatar star wars is that still slated for december of next year i'm not sure okay. i'm not sure but uh it's james cameron right yeah who's producing that he's he's come out and said that it's 100 percent filmed um but i'm sure there's po post-production still going on and all that stuff so we'll see i haven't heard an announcement for the dates and uh, even for star wars i haven't heard movie dates uh I mean, really being announced or anything be, yeah pushback yeah um, so after Spider-Man 3 in December is Thor Love and Thunder in February 11th, 2022, 2022. Mm -hmm. uh, and then rounding it off with Doctor Strange uh, in the Multiverse of Madness in March 25th, 2022. So that's the phase four docket so uh, February, as it stands March, right now. Month apart. Like that's, yeah, yeah, that's definitely a lot quicker, yeah. um, which is cool. I don't mind going to the movies every month, every other month to watch a, a big Marvel movie. That's great for me. But, um, yeah, it's going to be like, let's hope that these movies are filmed now or over the next six months to finish filming so that they can do their post-production. I just really hope that we're not getting a movie shot out quickly just to get movies to get the revenue up. I really hope that they put the quality and the love and care into it because, you know, that's what we've come to expect, especially after especially being in this pandemic. Kind of, you want to yes. have that movie experience be as, as memorable as possible, right? 
Yeah, especially with this kind of, you know, they've been in this for a long time. The the Marvel multiverse is huge and they've done so well. It'd be a shame to kind of drag it through the mud and, and take it down some pegs due to this. Absolutely. And then Wonder Woman was initially supposed to be October 2nd this year. They bumped that now down to December 25th. I think I, it was. For now, I, I believe. And who knows, that may even have changed since since the last time I looked. But yeah. uh, it always seems to be a, a jumping ball. But we'll see if DC kind of holds on. I know they have the Snyder Cut coming to HBO Max uh, in, I think, four series, so uh, four parts. So, you know, at least they have that pretty much done. So I don't know if they'll push it back because of that. Or Is that early next year? On. Yeah, it should be 2021. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, so, it's, it's crazy, this pandemic. Uh, hopefully it, it gets over soon. People stay in the homes and, you know, retain the social distancing, all the stuff that's necessary to, to you know, yeah. get get through this. But, um, yeah, it's crazy. Lots of delays, lots of changes. I mean, uh, I guess, you know, in the meantime, we have these new consoles coming out. Uh, hopefully, you still have games that aren't pushed out and have a lot of time to spend doing that to kind of tie this yeah. over to the movie thing. but. It's crazy. Uh, really, really excited. Uh, you know, 2021 is shaping up to be an extremely packed year for an entertainment perspective, both from the movie and TV show uh, perspective, as well as the gaming perspective. Yes. Lots and lots of stuff. It's going to be crazy busy. Uh, don't know how I'm going to tr- set aside chunks of time to get through it all, but I'm so excited for, you know, what that's going to be, uh, assuming that we get through this pandemic sooner than later. Yeah, yeah. Some things are going to slip through the crack or, you know, be pushed back, I think, but... Uh... You know, we'll keep ourselves busy for sure, and we'll keep the content going as well. So it'll be an exciting year for everyone. Perfect. Well, there you have it, folks. That's our thoughts and uh, the news, essentially, for what's been delayed, the trailers that have been popped out, what our thoughts are on it, what our predictions are. But let us know what you think. Why don't you drop a comment below? Let us know what you are most excited about Mandalorian is that's going to be launching fairly shortly. And then, of course, so WandaVision, we'd love to hear your thoughts on what that is all about. Do you have any comic book references that you think they might be drawing from? We'd be interested to know. Um, Again, if you'd like to support us, click that subscribe button, like the video. And as always, friends. Stay nerdy. Stay nerdy.